Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday, and it is Kindergarten Club. Are you as excited as I am? I wish we could be together celebrating Kindergarten Club, but the, best, the next best way is to celebrate this way and doing it through our screens, and that's okay. Now that we did our good morning song, let's start with a big star breath. Do you remember how to do that one? Smile, take a deep breath, and relax. Let's do it again. Smile, let me see those beautiful smiles. Take a deep breath, and relax. One more time. Smile, take a deep breath, and relax. Great job, everyone. Now, let's see who's here today. Let's say good morning to Ava. Good morning, Ava. Let's say good morning to James. Good morning, James. Let's say good morning to Lucy. Good morning, Lucy. Let's say good morning to Isabella. Good morning, Isabella. Let's say good morning to Dream. Good morning, Dream. Let's say good morning to Olivia. Good morning, Olivia. Let's say good morning to Emmy. Good morning, Emmy. Let's say good morning to Cristani. Good morning, Cristani. Let's say good morning to Ariana. Good morning, Ariana. Let's say good morning to Nolan Germain. Good morning, Nolan. Let's say good morning to Lucas Hall. Good morning, Lucas. Let's say good morning to Sari. Good morning, Sari. Let's say good morning to John. Good morning, John. Let's say good morning to Nora. Good morning, Nora. Let's say good morning to Conrad. Good morning, Conrad. Let's say good morning to Miss Erica. Good morning, Miss Erica. Let's say good morning to Nolan. Good morning, Nolan Morales. Let's say good morning to Lucas Acosta. Good morning, Lucas. Let's say good morning to Zara. Good morning, Zara. And let's say good morning to Miss Jen. Good morning, my friends. Now, let's count and make sure that all 20 are here. We gotta make sure. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We're all here, gang's all here. Now let's see if we can find the number 20. Is this the number 20? No, that's number 19. Let's see if this is the number 20. Is this the number 20? No, that's number 14. I have high hopes for the next one. Is this number 20? Yes, we found number 20. Excellent. All right, my friends. Well, we're not doing vocabulary today because it's kindergarten club. So instead, we're going to do our morning message. <laughs> All right. Let's read our morning message together. Good morning. Today is Wednesday. How are you feeling this morning? Can you guess what book we will read today? Ten apples up on top. Our letter of the week is you, and you all worked hard to find that letter in your homes. I'm wishing you well. Have a wonderful day. Love. Miss Jen and Miss Erica. So my friends, 
there are some yous in this message. And I'm wondering if you can help me find them by pointing them out. It's going to be a little tricky because I have to hold this paper up. So if you can point to the yous, I will circle them for you. Let's see. First you. Did you say right here in the word you? You're right. Let's try to find another one. I heard someone notice the other you over here has a you in it, the word you. Let's see, can we find another one? Ah. Ooh, almost a tricky one but I see someone pointed to the U that's in the word guess. Is there another U? You're right. Our letter of the week is sitting right there. I'm hearing someone say the U in the word our. And someone just saw the other you that was right under the one we just circled. There's one right here in the word your. And down here, wow, we used the word you a lot in this morning message. That's right, the word wonderful has a you right down here. And did we find all of the U's? Take a good hard look. Oh, I'm hearing someone shout out. They saw our sight word of the week up. Good eye. Nice work finding that letter, the letters and the words super duper proud of each and every one of you. So now we're going to take this message down and we are going to talk about the activity that we have today. But I just realized that we forgot to wish each other well this morning. So let's back up and let's wish each other well because that is a very important thing for us to do each day, especially right now. All right, my friends, let's take all 20 of everybody Let's take everyone, put them deep in your big hearts, take a deep breath. And let's wish everyone well by saying nice words to them. I know that each and every one of you are missing your friends and you want to come back to school. I want to go back to school too, because I'm not even there. I'm in my home and I miss you and I know you miss each other and hopefully we'll get to see each other really soon. But I know you're working hard out there, and I'm glad that you're all staying nice and healthy. All right, my friends. So now I'm going to move the names up because I need some space down here to do our activity. And now we are going to work on something like this at home today. And I'm going to give you an example. Oh my goodness, Nora's fallen. So we have, let me grab my marker right here. So after you read today's story, you're gonna know what it's about. So we're gonna, it has to do with some animals and some apples and lots and lots of balancing. So you're gonna draw a family picture. So right now I'm gonna draw a picture of my family. So I'm gonna draw a picture of, oh, good thing I did not use this. That is a permanent marker and that would have been very, very sad. Very sad. Um, okay. That was, there we go. There we go. We found one. <laughs> Silly Miss Jen. All right. Good thing I checked that. All right. So we're going to draw a picture of my family. So I'm going to start with drawing me and Then I'm going to draw my mom. 
we were both wearing dresses. And we're both happy. And then I'm going to draw my brother. My brother's taller than us. And he's happy too. And then I'm going to draw my dad. And he's also happy. So now, after you draw everybody in your family on a piece of paper, you're going to draw and cut out 10 apples. I did mine ahead of time so I could help you with this activity today. So I've got my apples here and you're going to have 10 apples and you're going to take them and you're going to balance them on everyone in your family's, on everyone in your family's heads. So you can choose to give different amounts to every family member. So we're going to start by taping up some apples. Maybe some people in your family don't have any apples on their heads. Maybe some have two, maybe some have three, maybe some even have four. That's for you to decide. So we're going to go ahead and put apples on everyone's heads. Isn't that silly? Do you think you could balance an apple on your head in real life? Do you think it, an apple would be easy to balance? Maybe a little bit hard? Why do you think it would be hard to balance an apple on your head? Apples round could roll. It's a good guess. Well, in this picture, we have superpowers that allow us to balance these apples on our heads. And you're going to keep going. And keep going. My mom has a lot of apples. Almost done. I'm almost out of apples. All right, now putting my last apple on my brother's head. And now let's talk. So when you're done putting your apples on your family's heads, you're going to count how many apples are on each head. Maybe you have to count them or maybe you already know just by looking at them. How many apples do I have on my head? Three, that's right. So I'm gonna take my marker and I'm going to write a three under me. And you can do the same on your picture. How many apples does my mom have on her head? Four, that's right. Maybe you're able to quantify by looking at those numbers and seeing you don't even have to count them. How many apples does my brother have on his head? Two, that's right, two. So we're gonna write the number two down here. And how many apples does my dad have on his head? One, he only had one. So we're gonna write one there. So who in my family had the most apples on their head? That's right, my mom had the most. Who had the least amount of apples on their head? Dad, that's right. Now, did anyone have the same or equal amounts of apples on their heads in my family? No, there was no one that had the same amount in this picture. So then I want you, when you're all done, to take a picture of that and send it to me so we can share tomorrow about all the different amounts of apples everybody had on their heads. And it's going to be silly and it's going to be fun. But I think you're going to enjoy it. And your picture might look different from mine. Maybe you have five people in your family. Maybe you only have two. So I'm looking forward to seeing how many apples can balance on everyone's head. And feel free to write who each person in your family is so we can see in the pictures. All right, my friends, that is the challenge for today. And I will see you tomorrow. I love you all so much. Have a great day.